Hello and welcome back. So today I'm going to be talking about not clinging, not being clingy, not sticking to people. If you learn how to do things on your own, and not only do things on your own, but when it comes time where there is somebody, you actually say no to clinging. I don't know, but just not sticking to them or just, I don't know. But today, why am, why, am I why am I talking about this? Because today I felt like, although I, I'm not like a clingy person, but I felt like I shouldn't have like stayed for that long with this particular person that I'm thinking of. So the first thing of not being clingy is don't ask to like stay with the person. Don't ask for rides. Don't ask, unless you need the ride, don't ask for the ride just to stay with a particular, you know, or with a, your friends or with your, I don't know, significant other. But don't ask for rides or don't ask to stay with anybody. Let that question come from them. Don't go and ask for for somebody to stay with you, for example. Or, for, or maybe just like, for example, if somebody says, oh, I gotta go, all right, just you know, go, just be like that, it's e be easy to break off, and also you break off easily, and also don't feel obligated to stay with your friends, for example, don't feel obligated that you have to, oh, I gotta stay because my friends want me to stay, no, actually, being able, people being able to get a hold of you is one of the most down things that you can ever have in a friendship, like people taking, you know, not advantage of you, but taking you for granted and knowing that you will always be there no matter what is kind of a downside to being clingy. That's another word. For, this is another description of a clingy person is they're always there no matter what. Like I know that's a good thing, but nowadays it's not a good thing. I'm not, I'm not going to say stuff that makes, um, makes maybe anybody feel good who's listening. No, I'm saying the truth. For me, what I need to what I need to do is that I need to stop um, trying to stay with, for example, my friends or my friend. Like stop trying to stay with them or spend as as much time as possible. If they want to spend time with me, then they can do that. They can ask to stay, but otherwise, I shouldn't. I shouldn't ask to continue or like stay. If I want to leave, then I can leave. That's the most important thing that I need to learn. Like, I, I don't have to be with a certain, like, friend just all the time just because we're in the same place. We don't have to sit together just because we're in the same place. If she or he wants to sit with me, they can come. But otherwise, there is no need for me to be with them all the time if we were in the same place. This is something that I don't like sometimes. I feel like if we, for example, I saw my friend in the mall, automatically, like, I don't know, I sometimes feel like I need to be with them or maybe, you know, continue the shopping with them. No, like it needs to be like, I see them, hello, and bye, and that's it, and not have, like, don't cling, that's the thing, don't stick on people. And you know how it feels when you, like, experience it. I don't know how to explain it. But today, for example, there's this person that I hate. Like, I completely hate this person. Like, I, I, I don't hate them, but I just don't feel comfortable around them uh, for, like, I don't know, for many reasons. And I saw them, like, when I first saw them, I didn't even say hi. But then when, when like, when, when our eyes met, I was like, okay, I gotta say hi. And then I said hi, and he said hi as well. So then... And he's like, oh, are you looking for your sister or your mom or your dad? I was like, I'm looking for my sister. So, and then I was like, all right, bye. And then he, he went upstairs. And then I, I didn't find my sister down there. And then I went upstairs because, like, the library is, like, two-floor library. So I went upstairs to go to what they call, my sister's in college now. So she, she, I thought, was with my dad who teaches in the student center. And I had to go to the student center. And I don't, I didn't remember, or I don't remember how to get to the student center because I've never had a class at this college. The college is not that big. It's not, it's uh, a small college, but I still don't know my way around that place, that college. So I went. And that guy that I just talked to, which is like uh, a friend of a friend, 
was on my left when I went upstairs and I just pretended like I didn't see him. You know, when you do that, like I, I always do that with people that I don't like talking to. So I went to the right and then I, I just asked a random person at the desk. I was like, how to get to the student center? And he's like, oh, this guy can show you. And that guy was the, he works there and he's the same guy that I, you know, the friend of a friend that I had. Let's call him John. So John. And then he, he's like, oh, so where you, John is just, you know, this annoying human being that I don't know. I just don't, it's not like I, I don't like him, but I just, there's, I don't know. I just don't feel good. Like there's some, certain people that you don't feel good around. And he was one of those people. So what happened was that he, so he's like, where you, so, okay. So the guy asked him to take me to the student center and I did uh, and then he came and asked me, he's like, oh, so where are you going? Even though he's taking me to the student center. I was like, I'm going to the student center. So then he showed me, um, you know, he showed me, he knows where my dad teaches. Like, weird enough, but he just took me up where my dad teaches. Because I was going to go to my dad's class to ask about my sister to pick her up. So he took me up to, the, to my dad's class and then everything. And then I asked the students and we're having a conversation about where I could find my sister. Then I went and when I found that, because... This is the exam. This is the um, people are all all the, like every student is having their examinations either this week or next week. So the students were waiting their turns uh, for my dad to <coughs> for my dad to like take them one after the other. So then the students that were outside were students that are waiting to be examined. So when I was asking them, they're like, "Oh, okay, yeah, yeah." So your sister might be in the library. So anyway, then I got in. When a, when a student came out when he was done with his exam and when another student was uh, coming in I went and I asked my dad I was like where's my sister and he told me where she is so when I walked out there's what happened so I was like oh uh, thank you so much for um, bringing me here and showing me where my dad was um, so how to get back to the library and he's, he's like oh we need to get an uber for you to um, take you back to the library I was like, huh, how funny. I wonder if I asked you for another, fa like, for a big favor, what you would have done. And then after a little bit, I was like, all right. And then they're, they're just showing me where they're, like, go left. And he's just, like, um, um, basically, like, telling me how to, like, go to the place, like, by making fun of the directions. Like, basically, like, oh, you'd go left and right and then left and then right. I was like, you know what? The best thing for you to do is be quiet, to be quiet. And then I left. So I felt like I clang. A little like I, I didn't I didn't go like I should have just been like all right thanks I shouldn't even said you know thank you I should have just left or maybe I should have just been like thank you so much and then left I should have asked uh, uh, where it was like the library was although it was not too bad but I still felt like I shouldn't have like because that means oh can you take me back please to the library and that's not what I meant because I mean that's not what I meant but it didn't come off I feel like that like, I should have not asked him. like, And that was clinging. And clinging is not is the worst things to do in any circumstance. And I feel like another way to not be clingy is... Um, don't feel that feeling that you need to stay. You need to just stay with your friends and not leave just because they, you know... You feel sometimes you feel constrained, like you feel like you're in this prison. You can't leave or you can't go because your friends might I don't know they might not like that you're leaving them at that time. But if if you don't cling, this is actually the most attractive trait in anybody. And if you like, I feel like I need like make it easy to break off, make it easy to not stick with people you don't have to be with your friends all the time you don't have to have pee parties to go to the bathroom like if you need to go to the bathroom you can go alone all right if you need to go to the mall you don't have to be with a bun you know all of your friends together going to the mall like have the ability to be alone although i have that ability but i don't know i don't know i just don't know like i felt like i was clean even though right now when i'm saying it it doesn't sound as much, but for me to, to do that, especially with somebody that I don't like, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's throwing me off. Like, I'm kind of like upset at myself for doing that just because I know I don't like this person. And I don't know, like, I just don't know why 
I did that. I will never do it again. And I will not ask somebody for directions that I do not like. That's one. And second of all, is because I just don't. Is it the time? Is the time gonna be over? All right. Sorry. So, with that said, thank you so much. And until next time.